And I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I feel so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me I do try to stay positive But I also stay real And this is fucking real right now Hi, welcome to me It's 3.30 in the morning And I've been struggling uh, with sleep the past couple days, shocker. I'm procrastinating cleaning my room, so you know what I just did instead? I just hyper fixated for the past hour and detail cleaned um, my like backsplash, the main part of my oven up here, the door of the oven, the entire outside of my refrigerator, the majority of this door, <laughs> and my dishwasher because I just don't know if that's been done in this house in any conceivable time frame that I would know of since I've lived here or beyond. I don't think it looks perfect, but it definitely looks a lot better. And it's got a bunch of like, basically like, you know, when you're cooking and things can sling and stuff. Um, I just did like a deep clean because I am not a good deep cleaner. I suck at it. Um, especially with all my bullshit. Um, I don't quite know what exactly inspired me to do this. I just was like, fuck it. And this is the, the head of this, but side, by side fucking note, this Rubbermaid electric scrubber. It's life changing. This is one, this is a head that I do not use on dishes. And it wasn't as blown out an hour ago. It was still kind of blown out. I won't lie. Um, but I use this to just like, because I have, I have hand, wrist, shoulder pain. Um, I don't have great grip strength. I really struggle to scrub things, um, period. It's very annoying. Like I struggle to open jars. Like it's just a fucking thing for me. I've been being kind of hard on myself recently. I've been really, oh, I've been overdoing it um, in a lot of ways to avoid doing other things that I need to do. It's what I call productive procrastination. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I just had my second coaching with Freya. Now I'm getting started on prepping stuff. I'm about to do a bunch of veggie prep. I'm also gonna be making stuff for my brother. Um, so basically, uh, my before my mom left, I think she made some kind of ham or something. There's a bunch of diced up ham and my brother's not gonna eat it in that form and I don't want it to go bad. And she also bought stuff basically for a breakfast casserole. So I'm gonna make my own version of that. And um, I might have a slice of it, but um, I'm basically gonna make like a ham and cheese egg biscuit casserole vibe. I'm also gonna be prepping a bag of chicken in the instapot but i am probably gonna do a in a tiktok live and then do check-ins and just kind of like show what i'm doing and explain it in that kind of route hey y'all so i just got done with my tiktok live i have measured out everything and prepped everything that i've done so far i forgot the exact amount of ounces i might throw shit up on the screen i might not i don't know i'm too tired to care about what my future me is gonna do um, but I've got measured out um, raw carrot. I'm trying out chopped out sweet potatoes this week. I'm nervous, but these are from the reduced section. So I wanted to process them as soon as possible and cut off any of the bad parts. Um, I've got broccoli head for I'm making more cheesy cauliflower chicken rice for me and my brother. Because then this time I'm going to weigh myself out portions and just tell him what's his. Because he ate almost all of it last time. He liked it so much. And I want to actually have some this time. And then this is all the bell peppers that uh, my mom got. So they were going to start going bad soon. So I'm going to be sauteing these with onion that I have not prepped yet. Um, because one of the things that I want to also do is cook up the Philly meat that's in the freezer. That's been in there for like several months now. So it needs to get used up. I pre-measured. This is one serving of olive oil for the carrots and two servings of olive oil for the sweet potatoes. Um... So I'm going to throw all this in the fridge, take a little break, and then next time I see you guys, I will show you what I'm doing for the crock pot chicken. Um, I haven't even Googled the cook time, and I have an idea of what I want to put in it, so I'm going to look for similar styled recipes. 
um, and figure out cook times and all that jazz. So my lights are currently charging because um, I did a live today and these are the results if you watch the live. <laughs> I want to show you real quick. Um, this is the carrots, the sweet potatoes, and bell peppers and onions. And side note, um, the meat masher was a success for breaking up the chicken very easily. I was really surprised. Love that for me. It was about three, three and a half hours um, in the slow cooker of the instant pot for the tenderloins. Um, it didn't, I just literally hit slow cook and set the time. Um, I lightly seasoned the water and added better than chicken bouillon. So, I think I'm going to reserve this liquid for something. I don't know what yet. It's basically a very simple chicken broth. And I feel like I could literally just add cornstarch to it and it would be yummy. I haven't... If you have any suggestions from... Because I think I might do this in the future because this is a very easy way to prepare chicken tenderloin and chicken te chicken breast meat. And it is dry, but I struggle to even like chicken breast. I prefer thigh, but I haven't had any dope chicken thigh sales yet at the uh, discount store. Y'all will know. <laughs> and I'm going to embarrass myself on the internet. <laughs> but, um... They will have bags of like chicken tenderloin and things like that. And I just wanted to make a chicken salad and throw this in the dish. So I'm okay with it being this way because I just need a low effort way of batch making chicken to help with me. <laughs> yeah, this the color of this liquid is not nice because I didn't add a bunch of stuff to it, which normally I do because I don't like it when my food looks this bland, but... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like season this up and I'll either use like I'll make an Italian season so I'll use a little oregano basil that kind of thing or I'll add some thyme and some other stuff to it um and do something with it or I could even make some kind of like soup situation with this I don't know the one thing I hate about batch cooking is the dishes I don't have anyone to pawn them off on at least I have a dishwasher. I've lived many a years without one of them fuckers. But yeah. I really don't know what I want to do. Let me taste this real quick. Oh my gosh. If you were, if I was sick, this is the most delicious chicken broth. It's like, I didn't add any salt to it, but the two tablespoons of the better than chicken bouillon was the perfect ratio. That is delectable i did two cups of water two tablespoons of better than chicken bouillon and like i think literally garlic and onion powder i don't think i put pepper in it i'm very particular about how i use pepper and what i like pepper in versus what i don't i'm about to use half of this for the cheesy cauliflower rice dish and the other half i'm going to make chicken salad out of so we'll be doing that on camera later um because i just I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous to make my own chicken salad because I'm very, um, very picky about it. Very picky. So, anyway, I'll see y'all later. Hi, friends. So, I'm just kind of throwing this together here because I just, I basically, I'll go ahead and I'll put it on the screen. I made a recipe in my fitness bar, what I'm about to do. Um, for the cheesy cauliflower rice um, broken up into six different servings which I don't know how big they're actually gonna be um, so maybe um, I'll change that number because at least right now as of me sauteing the broccoli to start I did spray it with some canola oil spray that we had in the pantry and just a little light season of broccoli and you already know I basically season everything with onion powder and garlic powder it just makes everything taste good 
As Mama Jill says, it ain't season. It, it ain't season, and if you ain't sneezing, or, uh, I'm tired. The fact I'm still cooking, I'm very proud of myself right now. I'm gonna be making something specifically for my brother, so we, I can get the these ingredients out of the fridge and make sure that they do in fact get eaten. I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole, so I'll show you guys that. I was using this earlier as a pan cover. I haven't chopped anything with it. I use this as a pan cover. I try to avoid cutting on wood. I still, I've had this sitting here for weeks now. And I'm just nervous to try it. And I want to talk about this for half a second. Because I do talk about, like, food making me nervous sometimes. Um, because I'm neurodivergent. <laughs> and trying new things of anything is scary to me sometimes. New things, like, just stress me out. Even if it's something a new thing I want to do or whatever um so that's really that on that i bought these forever ago and i've never had chickpea pasta and i'm sure i'll try it and like it but my brain just be dumb sometimes all right so i'm gonna start dumping all the rice and shit into this um so that way the moisture in the bags can um because i defrost um, all of the bags of the rice and the pre-frozen um, regular rice. We've started with four bags of the cheesy cauliflower rice. I weighed out about roughly 14 ounces of chicken meat with two ounces of the um, broth and just because of I added the bouillon and whatever was still attached to that, um, I just labeled it as 16 ounces of chicken because again, I'm just doing my best y'all. So we're gonna add some more garlic powder, some more onion powder. And a layer of salt, cause this, this brand of cauliflower rice is pretty fucking bland, let me be super real. I'm gonna cook this for a couple minutes. And then this is the pre-weighed uh, one cup of one cup of sharp cheddar and about a pound of bra chicken breast and that's it i just weighed it in the same thing so i want to cook this down a little bit um i'm gonna put the steamer lid back on so the broccoli can keep cooking i don't recommend this but i have one more um i just don't think it's necessary um i got it for a good price or whatever but i'd rather just the rice in the rice maker make this my own way but let me see here i'm just gonna dump this in and then i'm going to add a uh, chicken and cheddar that i pre-measured earlier Let's react. Welcome to another episode of Anthropologist Watches Amber and Reed. And this is our most recent video. My girlfriend's right. Mix that in real good. I'll just cook for a few more minutes because the vegetables are super close to being done done. So I wanted to give this time to melt and warm up the chicken, but the chicken's fully cooked, so I didn't want it to be in here for too long, just so it doesn't hopefully dry out anymore. Then it already is dry. Because, like, when I said earlier that it's dry, it's dry because it's chicken breast. Like, for chicken breast, it's, pre it's pretty moist, but I'm very picky about that. So. Ooh. This is 80% cauliflower, y'all. All right. This is also, like, as someone who does find comfort in processed foods, who, like, who likes processed food, I like doing it this way because it's like gourmet garbage. You know what I mean? <laughs> fresh cauliflower or fresh broccoli with the cauliflower rice. I'm um, bulking up the this thing. All right, so I added some pepper and a little more salt and also uh, the other two seasonings that are in here. I just felt like it needed a little something something, so I added some pepper. Mm hmm. It's very simple. I just can't think of what other seasonings I'd like to put in this that my brother will also like. If I was making this just for me, I think I would have spiced things up a bit. But um, I 
I'm gonna be eating this in conjunction with other stuff normally I you know I like to put veggies and stuff in my bowl all right so we're gonna do this in ounces or grams let's do ounces all right it'll be just a moment y'all Let's go to my calculator. 88.2 ounces. I think that's definitely more than. So we're gonna do, we're just gonna call it 82 because I'm gonna lose some between transfer and dishes, whatever, we're just gonna call it 88. I don't know if I said 82, I'm gonna say it's 88.1 now. So I'm just gonna leave it at 88 to make my life easier. Divide by six equals 14.6 ounces. I wish, I fucking wish, I had premium my fitness pal one day, just not right now. Cause it's like seventy dollars a year. One day. I'm kind of hungry, so I think I might just weigh out a measurement for me now. Here we go. More. Here we go. Boom doesn't let me say how much the serving is okay 14.6 14.6 don't you fucking forget bitch all right and then 14.6 minus 88 equals 73.3 perfect so there's 73 73 ugh, 73 ounces left on the scale so this is 450 calories and that is how you fucking volume eat, man. 73.3 minus 14.6. So 58.7. So I'm gonna measure him out a serving. This is a way that using the subtraction method is good. Like you can kind of minus and take it out to portion that way so it's less dishes. Well, he doesn't like the bigger chunks of broccoli. So let me take those out for me. Because I do scrum dibbly umptious i'm gonna eat my dinner i'm gonna come back and show you guys the prep that i do for the breakfast cash loss i'm not baking it off tonight cheers anyway i'll see y'all later bye so i'm like ready to be done with cooking um so i'm about to slap together um what i i'm about to slap together the breakfast casserole prep and then i'm gonna slap together the chicken salad so it's all done it's all done everything is done then. so we're gonna start 10 eggs just a reminder i'm not tracking this one i'm not making this one healthy honestly it's not really even for me at this point i don't want to eat these two cans of biscuits in the fridge and this ham and i know my brother will if i turn it into this casserole um so that's what we're doing i will be back once the eggs are done wow my hands hurt okay so i just cut up basically two cans of biscuit dough and i added some heavy cream to the eggs because it's also something that needs to get used up um, i used a little bit of it in my protein ranch but um let me just close this real quick and basically i'm gonna smush it around a little bit just gonna add some salt not a lot because this is the diced up ham. It needs to get used up. So I'm just going to take this ham here and fill this up. I just have this little bit of cheese left in this bag, so I'm going to dump this into the casserole and then I will top it with more cheese for him. Um, because this is not enough cheese for this amount of food. Um, and some of this will be ending up in the freezer. He'll even eat some of it fresh. He'll eat some of it later on. This is something, well, this is one of the things my mom would meal prep all the time for um, him slash I. This and uh, um, breakfast burritos. So this will be good in the fridge for a day or two before I get to it, whenever I get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and experiment and make a chicken salad 
my iPad's charging, so I might not be able to do the weighing on camera, but I will come back and talk about it. All right, so I have the recipe right here. If there's any alterations you're about to see, you're about to see, but as of right now, this is what I got. Um, we've got half a serving of cottage cheese, two and a half servings of Kraft mayo, half a serving of dried sweetened cranberries, uh, 12 ounces of chicken, and onion powder and salt. Very simple. I do like a sweeter chicken salad. Um, that's just me. Let me try it. Wow. Talk about a dupe. I did have Miracle Whip in the fridge and that would have made this lower calorie. And I did grow up eating Miracle Whip. But living in Omaha, if it did anything for me, it taught me that, um, it taught me that mayo is better than Miracle Whip. <laughs> this is one of those moments where I use the better tasting thing. But I also don't really even like Kraft Mayo, but it's what we have, so I'm just trying to use it. The perfect amount of sweetness. I'm going to need to defrost more chicken <laughs> and make a batch of what I made for just this. <laughs> this is very, very tasty. I didn't, they didn't have any not sweetened cranberries. If I'm only using half a serving in the entire thing, I think I'm okay with that. All right, so my kitchen station currently is a wreck. We're not getting into that right now. I just posted on my Instagram story about how I tried making this milkshake, or I started making this milkshake, and it tasted really good for the first two sips, but it's too much sugar. So I wanted to experiment with a shake today, uh, since today is a day I'm considering being, like, off track. And, um... This is too much for me. And even though I'm technically on an off track day, I'm not gonna make myself sick. Um, so, I just did a little quick Google search and I am going to um, make an experiment. I'm gonna make a smoothie bread. I added some water to it, but when I was still trying to drink it and it was still just too much. Um, so it's a little liquidy, 190. So I'm gonna add two eggs to this. So I'm gonna whisk all this together. So I'm basically making a pineapple, a blueberry pineapple lemonade bread because that was the kind of smoothie I ended up making. Okay, so 90 grams is a cup. Let me do two and a half cups. I'm gonna need more than two, but I added about half a bag. Add a dash of baking vanilla. Oh, I do this every time. Almost. And then one teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda. I am going to add a dash of salt. That's it. I have um, the water running in the background because I want to, I'm starting to soak that thing immediately. This is the breakfast casserole that I prepped for my brother. Since today is an off track day anyway, this probably, I'll probably sample this when it's done and then save the rest for him. And so this one's gonna be quite simple. I fucked up, I didn't spray the pan. Ah, uh, shit, I meant to do that. Um, but this is, this is clumped together, but. My mom must use more eggs than I did. Cause she does this all the time and it doesn't do this clumping. What the fuck? I'm trying to just move it around so it bakes at least a little evenly. This is annoying. I put little, I put very little cheese inside of it. So, so I'm going to use the cheese on top as a glue. These are both kind of experiments. I don't, because I don't know if I've ever made this breakfast casserole before. I know my mom makes it a lot and I didn't really ask her for her input on it. So I kind of just, you know flung by the seat of my own pants kind of a deal. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm tired. Um, so nothing's new. So this is the finished breakfast casserole. Baked it for 40 minutes at 350. Came out perfect, it seems done. I poked it with a uh, thermometer and with a toothpick, everything looked good. 
looks nice and crunchy on top. So I'm gonna slice myself up a slice and have a little bit of it. I was really undecided on if I was gonna even have any of this, but what I wasn't expecting was for me to have an, an off track day today. It just kind of, I organically decided to do it. I'm gonna have literally a piece from the center because if it's underdone, then I'll know for sure. It looks done. So, see, I think it might be a little underdone. Oh, I just realized I stuck it in the thicker piece of the biscuit, but I didn't stick it in the center of the uh, thermometer. So, the smoothie bread is still going. I've hit 170. It's cooked all the way through. That is delicious. So I'm not going to get into exactly what's happened today, but um, today is my first day where, like, at the beginning of the day, I texted Freya and was like, hey, I'm going to be off track today. <laughs> I've yet to do that. But if you're not dieting, <laughs> if you're not trying to lose weight, this is delicious. Or if you're having a day where you're just taking a break, that's okay. Because I don't see it as a cheat day. I'm not cheating. I have a non-restrictive diet. Um, I'm living life. Today was really stressful. This morning was the rheumatology appointment. Um, which I'm just getting the process started. Like I've got a lot to do. So yeah. this My brother's going to oh, fucking love this. So I went to go do something before I recorded my clip of this. I was going to look cool for a second. And it was this really nice, like, bubbled over bread. It looked really, it looked really fucking nice. But it deflated while I was gone. So it's deflated. So I'm just going to take this and run it along the edge. So. God, this smells really good. I'm not even religious. I'm just Southern. Okay, okay, okay. I had it set in my fitness pal for four servings. Oh no, I toothpick checked it. Oh, fuck. I cooked it for like an hour or two. It's truly heinous. I've got one more Hail Mary. One moment. So this is my last ditch effort. As I mentioned today, I'm on, I'm doing an off track day, um, and so I'm cooking like an off day. <laughs> you know, you're gonna see what I mean in a moment. Um, because at this point, I am pan frying uh, a slice. This is I have I have this in about um, eight servings right now. About 15 pro grams of protein each about 250 calories for each slice but i fucked it up surprising no one i should have added more flour i was being conservative and probably needed more soda and or powder and i think it would have benefited from sticking with two i was going to do two tablespoons of protein powder but it's only eight grams per spoonful and I wanted to be more, more protein. So I think I might just need to make it less protein or add protein in a different avenue. Um, there's a few ways that could have gone had that been the intent. But I, if I cook it more, it might not taste so bad. I think it tastes bad because I significantly undercooked it and I either needed to make them smaller or, um, adjusted the cooking time differently because it would have burnt the outside by the time the inside was done so i browned some butter and um i'm standing it up because the, the, the slice is thick enough that it can stand up this way <laughs> i'll show you what i mean um i took one of them and cut those in half so it's like 16 slices in case it's still too thick 
but this is the slice that I have. So it's a, it's a hunk and slice. I'm experimenting. I'm so irritated with myself. And um, I haven't cooked with butter in what feels like a really hot minute. Because I was using like a... How? I was using like baking grease instead or olive oil instead for the last like couple months it feels like. My mom uses butter more than I do. But I took a break from the bacon grease because I was kind of eating it a lot there for a week or two. Because that's what I do with bacon grease. I don't cook with it all the time. I cook, with, I cook with it sometimes. I do have more green beans though. So I was thinking about maybe making bacon green beans. So I'm gonna cut in here. Still, yeah, that part's a problem. So I should, I'm gonna try a thinner slice, I think. It needs more sweetness from somewhere. So maybe adding a banana would be a good idea. I didn't even add honey to it. So surprising no one. Um, pan fried with butter is delicious. It does taste like you took a bowl of like blueberry lemonade oatmeal and made it into a slice of French toast. This is funky, but a funk I like. Like I don't like blue cheese, but I like this kind of funky. You know what I mean? I had a stroke of a genius idea. I'm currently melting more brown butter for um, the thin slices because one of the slices that I did the first time was so thin. That's what gave me this idea. This is a fried oatmeal scramble. I'm just so curious what the extra crispiness will do, how this would taste, because it kind of looks like sausage, but it's literally like a sweet fruity oatmeal. Like this actually looks like sausage. That's kind of crazy. I just realized that because the dark color of the dough. So. Because I used oat flour, the gooey parts don't taste like raw bread. They taste like oatmeal. And I would probably have cooked this a little bit longer, like some of the bigger chunks a little bit longer. This is what I consider like my research cooking. This is like when I'm experimenting, like something messed up happens. Um, and then I just keep figuring it out until it either ends up in the trash or I come up with something tasty. Cause I'm done right now. I've had a lot of sugar today and I don't feel very good. So, um, I've had a lot of carbs today too. And I just, it doesn't make me feel good, which is why I don't normally eat like I've eaten today. I don't know how much of this experiment is actually gonna be kept in the video. At this point, I have to watch back the footage. Cause I tried real hard to make myself like this. I tried real hard to find a solution. I tried my damnedest. And I was thinking about turning it into granola. And then I realized I just don't care anymore. I had my fun, played around with the kit in the kitchen a bit. Um, I'm trashing this. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I don't need to force myself to eat that butter just because it was there. And I don't need to force myself to eat anything that I don't want to. And I want to have a fresh slate tomorrow and I feel like this would cause me problems um it just wasn't worth it just wasn't that good it really wasn't um so yeah tomorrow is a new day later I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops